So, with the M4 journey now started, when is it likely we're going to see M4 chips put inside the latest Macs, including the MacBook Air with a standard M4 inside of it, this year or even in 2025? Well, today we're going to cover over all the details of when we're going to most likely get our hands on the brand new MacBook Air with its release date and the launch time with that. We're also going to cover over the prices and I'm also going to cover off, first of all, what sort of changes we're most likely going to see with the MacBook Air. So first of all, let's start out then with the actual design. Well, if you're first of all hoping for a brand new design with the MacBook Air on the next generation with say the M4 inside of it, well, the bad news is it doesn't look like it's going to be happening. The current design of the MacBook Air like we have right here has been around for the last two generation, the M2 and the M3. And Apple obviously with their MacBooks like to keep the same design at least for four or five generations. So what I'd say is we're probably coming up to the halfway point of the design here being used. So nothing really is going to change. There's going to be no new ports added or anything like that. But if you have had a go on an M2 or an M3 MacBook Air, you will know how great they are. This design is absolutely awesome awesome and a lot of people are big fans of it so the good news is from that point of view the design is going to be staying exactly the same but one question you may be asking with that well what about OLED displays because obviously like with the iPad Pros we have those new OLED displays now and obviously are these rolling out to other Macs too well the good news is they are but obviously as you can probably imagine the first kind of device or Macs that are going to get them are probably going to be the MacBook Pros and we've been told that probably in 2026 at the earliest the MacBook Pros will get this so really to be honest obviously that to settle down everything the earliest probably when the MacBook Airs would get an OLED display put inside of them probably won't be to 2027 so we're talking like about three years away from now and probably by then we'll have another two generations of MacBook Airs before that time so this is what I'm saying it's about the halfway point now through the sort of journey of the MacBook Air in this design that we have right now. So don't expect any new OLED displays, any new ports or anything like that. The main change is just going to be the M4 inside of the MacBook Air. What we're going to talk about next of all. So the M4 was introduced with the iPad Pros and obviously it's a very powerful chipset. And a lot of people are complaining that obviously they're not going to fully utilize it in an iPad Pro. The good news is obviously it's coming out to other Macs including the MacBook Air. Most likely as it's a MacBook Air, this generally gets both versions of the M4. So the iPad Pro actually shows us right now, we've actually got a 9-core CPU version and also a 10-core CPU version. The 9-core version is made out of 6 efficiency cores and 3 performance cores, whereas the more powerful one, the 10-core, is made out of 6 efficiency cores and 4 performance cores. And it's most likely Apple will give you the option to have both of these, And but the baseline model obviously will just have the standard M4 inside of it. The other thing too is the M4 runs a bit more cooler now, so hopefully now the MacBook Air won't get as hot, but obviously you won't be able to throw everything at it, you won't be able to run loads of Pro apps all at the same time on the MacBook Air without it getting a little bit warm and maybe even start to throttle out there. So obviously if you do want to get something like that, if you want to push it a bit further and you want a fan, obviously the M4 MacBook Pro, when that comes out, that will be a far better choice for you. But if you want a device before the M4 MacBook Air comes out, well you should check out the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this. We're giving away a 13 inch iPad Pro with an M4 inside of it, 512 gigabytes of storage too. And like I said, I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel. And this is going to be happening at the end of September time this year. And I'm also going to be throwing in a magic keyboard too. So yeah, you could be in the chance of getting yourself this 13 inch iPad Pro and also a magic keyboard. What is really, really awesome. And all you have to do to enter into this giveaway for this iPad Pro that we have right here is just put down in the comments below of what Apple gear, what technology gear you're still hoping to get in 2024. Put it down in the comments below right now. And also guys, like I said, I'm going to be giving away to one lucky subscriber. So if you are brand new here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too to enter in. And 
also because at near the end of September time, I will be doing a little video to give you the details about the actual live stream we'll be doing for this iPad Pro, and you won't want to miss out on that video. So make sure you do that right now. The other thing as well, guys, I just want to quickly say is sadly there's lots of spammers and scammers out there. People still impersonating me, telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram, all of these bad things, telling you to put with money for postage too. Please do ignore these people, or better still, you can see right here, please do report them. So, next of all, let's talk about the release date of when we're going to get our hands on these brand new MacBook Airs. Well, really, it depends on when the MacBook Pros actually come out, first of all. And if you look here, Mark Gurman actually gave a bit of a timeline earlier this year of when the M4 journey of Macs, when everything's going to come out. And as you can see, the M4 Pro MacBook Pros are targeted to come at the end of 2024, or into early 2025. Now, depending when that happens, I think reflects when the MacBook Air will come out. So, if it does come out the end of 2024, very similar to 2023, where we had the Scary Fast event, and we get the actual MacBook Pros there with the M4, M4 Pro, and the M4 Max, then I would say probably around about March time in 2025 is when we'd get our hands on the MacBook Air with an M4 inside of it. However, if this gets delayed out to early 2025 with, say, the M4 Pro and the M4 Max, say, about January or February time, most likely the M4 MacBook Air would come available at WWDC in 2025. There'll be an announcement then when you'd be able to get your hands actually on the new MacBook Air. So at the moment, it's either date, but as we get closer and further into 2024, I'm sure it'll become even more clearer when we'll be able to get our hands on the new MacBook Air with an M4 inside of it. And next of all, let's talk about the price and also let's talk about the tech specs too in this little brief we have right here. So nothing like I said of the actual design is really going to be changing. We're still going to get an LED display and this is still going to be a 60 hertz display. We've got the 13.6 inch LED and we've also got the 15.3 inch LED Retina display too. We've also going to have 256 gigabytes storage as the baseline amount going all the way up to two terabytes like before. And then obviously we will have that m4 and it'll either have the 9 or 10 core cpu option what you pick on on that as a choice and then obviously there will be that 10 core gpu as well all built on that new 3 nanometer die sock there will also be 8 gigabytes of ram as the baseline amount of ram this time still and this will obviously be an option going all the way up to 24 gigabytes of ram Apple still think 8 gigabytes of RAM is enough, but I don't think it is. But anyway, moving on, the body will still be an aluminum body. It'll have MagSafe, two USB-C, Thunderbolt 4, USB 4 ports on the side like before. The colors are probably going to stay exactly the same with the midnight, space gray, silver, and also that starlight color too. We'll still get the center stage webcam in the notch at the top at 1080p, and battery life will probably be increased ever so slightly now up to probably 19 hours of battery life because the M4 is a little bit more efficient than the likes of the M3. The price with 8 gigabytes of RAM with the 13.6 inch models so and the baseline one with 256 gigabytes of RAM will be 1099 US dollars and with that same configuration if you want it in the 15.3 inch it'll probably cost you 1399 US dollars but the difference is that you'd probably actually get the 10 core CPU whereas the 13.6 inch version you'd only get the 9 core CPU in the baseline configuration. And with that that guys that is all the latest and greatest we know about the m4 macbook air what are your thoughts on it are you going to be waiting out to get your hands on one or are you can be getting yourself something else let me know your thoughts in the comments below and also guys it's time to wrap up this video too so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button also if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell as well until next time guys i'll see you soon take care bye bye